Well, good afternoon, Dirtfish Rally friends, and welcome to our end of rally review. It has been a second glorious year of the Safari Rally in Kenya, David. Uh, another tremendous success, just entertainment from start to finish. <laughs> Wasn't it just, uh, yeah, anybody who ever thought the Safari Rally might be dull. And once again, wasn't it Saturday afternoon, final stage Saturday mm. afternoon, totally, didn't totally turn it on its head, but it, I mean, crikey, it just, that it, rain came and 12 months on it did exactly yeah. what it did it last did. time. Well, no, not yeah, quite you exactly. know, it was a huge challenge all weekend. The weather <laughs> came, it became even more of a challenge. And yeah. so in some ways we were very lucky to get as little rain as we did. The locals were telling us really from the start of the week it could be a predominantly wet rally. Can you imagine the carnage, David, had that no, happened? No, it would have been, but equally same way, obviously we're here at Goodwood. They said the same, we yeah, were in did. for a wet four days. It's it been did. glorious. And look at your poor little burnt I napper. I am you know? back out the sun. That's why he's gone back into the shade, folks. <laughs> Doesn't like that sun on that balding nope. napper of his. Uh, but let's talk, you know, it was wonderfully entertaining, but it was wonderfully impressive, David. Oh. The performance in particular from Toyota. You know, we saw M Sport struggling big time. We saw Hyundai struggling, but Toyota got it right. Before we talk about the performance of the drivers, because we really do concentrate on the drivers all the time, yeah. let's talk about how well prepared Toyota were. I don't think it's any coincidence. I don't think it's luck that their cars got through. I think they were the best prepared team, David. <laughs> Why you, was that? You, you could look back, couldn't you, Colin? You could look back in, in history of Safari Rally, of, of endurance style, WRC rounds. Toyota has a really strong heritage. You yeah. look back to the old Celicas, yeah. the, the twin cams, they did it, but that has nothing, what happened in the past has nothing to do with the here and now. Completely different team, completely different setup. Just massive congratulations to Tom Fowler and his team. They've done an exceptional job. They took all of the data that they gathered last year on, on Safari. They've had the same opportunity to test yeah. uh, as all of the other teams have in, in rough gravel with brand new cars. It's a massive result because it's enormous. You result. know, reliability was it was a huge question mark yeah. with hybrid and everything yeah. for this year. Yeah. Safari was the one. Nobody knew what was the dust going to do to the to the electric motors to all of that. Mm -hmm. And it's you know there's a wonderful symmetry there that there's fins in there and you know there, there is um, Japanese, Japanese drivers yeah. with, with Taka. But I think enough. You yeah. know they've done Toyota has done a sensational job with with the Yaris. Yeah, remarkable performance, David, by Toyota, uh, but led led by the performance of Cali and Perra. Yet another victory from first on the road. He's such a quick learner. <laughs> he is. He is a rapid <laughs> learner, not just a quick learner. We should just point out that Colin and I have almost come to blows off camera about the fact that Colin thinks he's a quick learner, but actually it's all about his young brain. But let's move on, he did a great job. He did a, no, 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 he didn't do a great job. He did an unbelievable job. But let's not forget on Thursday night, up on two wheels, it could all have gone. Could all have gone wrong on, on you know, the first it? stage, couldn't it? And, yeah. But what he but did, actually, David. Cole, just, I'm just going to jump in. I promise this is the last time I'll interrupt you. But this is, we've talked about this for the last three or four rallies. When your luck, not luck, but when you're riding the wave and everything's working, it works. You can guarantee that if, I don't know, Craig Breen had been in that same position, it probably would have toppled over, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know? for sure. Oite Tanak would have you know, oh, toppled over. And, yeah, yeah, he'd still it, be toppling now, wouldn't he? Yeah, if it was exactly, Tanak because it's just not working for Tanak right. in the way that it is working right. for Cali. Uh, but that's an awful lot to do with where Cali's at right now and, and yep. his just inherent ability to go fast and not have to think about it. And, and it's his just, capacity it's that he's now got this enormous this young brain of his. in the championship. He's got a young brain that can absorb he and has, he process has, everything so much quicker than your brain. Yeah, so I'll give him that, I'll 100% give him that. It, it is incredible, you know, his lead now in the championship is two plus events. Yeah. He can sit out, guaranteed, the mathematics tell us, the next two events, and still be leading the championship. Of course, it was the toughest rally what I have done, um, especially this year with the condition was much tougher than last year. So yeah, it was a big, uh, big job for the cars and the drivers to stay in one piece and, and also the changing weather with the rain and everything. The, the, the big question I want to ask you, did you enjoy it? Of course I did. This is, uh, of course, this is not the event what you enjoy the normal way, uh, like enjoy the driving all the time because here you have so tough places and, and conditions that you, you don't feel so comfortable all the time going there. But yeah, you, you can enjoy when you have a result like this. Elvin Evans, what can he do, David? He's, he's, he, couldn't he's... Do, he did everything he could because he knew the minute he stepped up the pace to try and beat Calais, 
he was going to stress the car yeah. and put himself in a position where yeah. you are risking everything. You know, you're risking so much. Uh, and for what? You know, the protect. Yes, obviously, it would have been an extra uh, seven points before the power stage. There is an aspect that you could say that actually Elvin should have pushed and should have gone for it because he's got nothing to lose. He's got nothing to lose. Yeah, but obviously, and Toyota are in, once again, a strong position now with manufacturers. But you know, Elvin, he doesn't want to be the number two in that team. He really doesn't. There is no such thing as a number Correct. two in that team. There is no such thing. You know, no what, such that's th what we say, isn't it, Kyle Lindstrom? Kyle there Lindstrom is no such thing. But, but you know, the reality is that there will be you know, someone at the end of the year who's world champion, there will be someone who's, who's not. not world champion. So the world champion is number one. Um, I think the point you make is, is a good one, and I'll give you that. You know, he, 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 well, you did say you, he should have upped his pace. He could have upped his pace, perhaps. But that is the crux of the problem. Mm. Robin Pell is safe pace. Is so high and it's very reminiscent of the, the great it's days of Log and yeah. Ogier. And the others yeah. have to push, have to take risks. And at the end of the day, they don't because it's not worth it. You know, they, yeah. they, they can't sustain the level. Yeah, I think uh, Kali probably had, you know, what we didn't expect was an advantage on, on Kedong the first time through on, on Friday. And I think uh, we obviously gave away some time there. Uh, we then had a, a couple of punctures, obviously, first stage of the afternoon loop on Friday. Uh, sleeping warrior uh, then we had a, a puncture as well and then of course we had some uh, issues with the wipers then in the mud so you know a couple of little things nothing nothing major but uh, obviously it was enough to, to sort of eke out the uh, Cali's advantage and, and therefore then it was difficult to, to fight back. Takamoto-san just you've got to contextualize some of these results you're on the crest of a wave this time last year you took that wonderful second place could have won the rally potentially it then went disastrously wrong from, you have to say, Estonia, where obviously Dan Barrett had that back problem, the crash, then in Ypres in Finland, and it was, it was so bad that at the end of last year, there were question marks. There is something with Taka, clearly, that we talked about this in the preview, that a driver gels with an event. And yes. he clearly has found a way to drive the Safari Rally sensibly. Ultimately, he's been in, on this event, the best car. Mm -hmm. You know, he's had great reliability. But again, the, matu the maturity that he showed last year when he was in, you remember he went into the final day fighting with Ogier, yeah. 10 seconds behind or something, or, or whatever, 10 seconds between them. He demonstrated that maturity now. He's done it again here. Um, and you know, third place is a massive mm. result for him. Such a tough weekend, and, but the team made an incredibly big job and uh, they developed the car very well. And uh, we had uh, such a strong car, so that's why we are here. And uh, thanks, huge thanks to the team. Of course, Alan did a great job also, so I need to say huge thanks to him also that he, his, without his support, I'm not to be here. So, uh, yeah, we had uh, so many things happen, and even today we had oil leaking in the morning and afternoon, no hybrid boost, but uh, still we are here, so thanks to them. Uh, let's move on to M Sport, David, because they had, you know, before the event, you know, my money would have been on an M Sport driver, to be honest with you. They had yeah. two M Sport drivers in the top three, uh, they've got wonderful history when it comes to rough, tough, challenging events. But they had a nightmare. They had an absolute nightmare out there yeah. this weekend. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no other way really of describing it, is it? You know, starting with Sebastian Loeb's fire early on, just a, a, a string of issues, um, Gus Greensmith rolling and, and that yeah. whole. And there is, if you want a, an, an understanding of the FIA's perspective uh, on exactly why the, the marshals weren't allowed to to go and help us, go to dirtfish.com. We've got a full story, a full explanation we do. From, from the FIA. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a shocker. You know, Craig, we had him marked down for a, potentially a podium. You know, yeah. it, it just a long way. Adrian yeah, Formo, was, you know, Formo was just struggling to get through a loop of stages without yeah. doing something, breaking some part of the suspension or having an issue with punctures. It, 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 uh, you know, where are M Sport right now, David? You know, they their biggest chance of wins this year is when. Clearly, Loeb gets in the car. He led when we were in Portugal. He looked like he was challenging for the lead here. Where are they at? I would say their best chance of victory is coming up with Estonia, Finland, Ypres, and Craig, Craig Breen. Breen. That's yeah. their chance. The downside is that, that Breen goes into those events on the back of a, of a pretty dismal result. But we've seen it's a different Craig Breen now. He can pick himself up. You know, he's been, he's been down a few times this year. Uh, after Sweden and Croatia and all of those those occasions, he can lift himself. Uh, so he needs to. He needs to 100%. come to Estonia and he needs to show, demonstrate mm. that he's got the speed. We know he's got the speed. We've seen right. sensational speed yeah. and results yeah. from him on those fast rallies. 
Let's see it. Let's make it happen. Hi Hyundai. Hi Hyundai. You're tearing the wheel like Tanak. You know, Solberg battled on. Um, reliability has been their big issue from the start of the year. And it was, um, it was uh, always going to be uncovered here. You know, absolutely. we've said it a hundred times. If there is a weakness in that car, Safari will mm. find it. Mm. And it. And it found it yeah. in, in spades again, didn't yeah. it, here? You know, and for me, t uh, you know, Thierry's massive season-long frustration for the last five and a half rounds all manifested themselves in. It was Sleeping Warrior on Saturday, mm. Saturday afternoon when he'd had the issue, got back on and just went absolutely... It's a treat. Yeah. Bizarre. I, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it was yeah. there was a load of water. He was clearly yeah. caught out yeah. breaking for a right hander or yeah. whatever aquaplane straight into the tree, and yeah. th that was was Thierry's moment that it was just it snapped. Yeah, um, yeah. and he's just got a feel for the guy. You know, he has driven his heart out mm. all year. Uh, won the power stage today. You know, that's the pace. Some, yeah. some consolation, but yeah. what, it means nothing. Uh, David, your highlight of the weekend from Safari. My highlight from the weekend uh, from Safari would. <sighs> I actually, I tell you what, talking to um, and watching Oliver Solberg still smiling, still smiling. at the end of we, 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 you know, I, we, just I, well. a thoroughly tricky, yeah. miserable, yeah. difficult yeah. event, but jumped out of the car and we, you know, we've, we've spoken to a lot of the drivers over the phone because obviously we're here in, in Goodwood um, and talking to Oliver, just the enthusiasm of, oh, I'm counting the days till we come back, just loved it for all of the reasons that you've mentioned. Uh, my hi highlight, uh, a couple of highlights, very much, again, the local colour. It just is something very, very special indeed. The enthusiasm, the fact that we have hundreds of thousands of people descending on what's quite a small town now. Vash is a small yeah. town. They come from Uganda, they come from Zambia, they come from all over the African, that part of the African continent, and it's magnificent. And David, if we're talking highlights, uh, obviously we have to say a very big, very big thank you to the, the Goodwood Estate here, and in particular to... The Duke of Richmond. The Duke of thank Richmond, much, yeah. Sir. Thank you very much. If we had the hat, we'd obviously doth it to you. It's, it's been magnificent being on the stage here. Uh, we are the stage on the rally stage. Uh, it's been great. It's really been great. You know, Dirtfish have been well represented here, yeah. not just with this wonderful stage, but, you know, Steve Rimmer, our boss, has been here with some of, uh, you know, the most iconic rally cars. It's oh, been it's, wonderful. It, and it was a difficult decision, wasn't it? When we had this opportunity with Goodwood, what do we do? And we're huge fans of, of rally cars, mm. of, of everything. Next year, I would say we will, we'll, we will be in Kenya for the event 100%. But this, just when you come to the Festival of Speed, it is unbelievable yeah. the the mix of cars that oh, you wonderful. see and yeah. you know we just talked about steve you know that to see again an audi quattro e2 going up the hill and just the number of cars here mm. every single day it's been an absolute privilege to drive in here yeah. and see these cars you yeah. know it's all about yesterday's yeah there we go folks it's been wonderful it's been wonderful to be back in kenya and an, an enormous enormous thanks to, to george, george donaldson, donaldson yes. who did the most yeah. incredible job seemed to be at every turn, at every yeah. instant, George yeah. Donaldson was there. Yeah. You know, if you were a driver yeah. and you saw George Donaldson, <laughs> you, were you knew you were in trouble. <laughs> you knew you were in yeah. trouble. Great and job, thanks George. very much, Georgie. Yeah. Uh, as David said, you know, thank you very much to the Goodwood Estate for hosting us. Turfish.com, remember, we've got a couple of weeks until our next event. That is the place to be for all the news from this man. Once he stopped arguing with me and having an arm wrestle to settle our arguments, <laughs> Turfish.com is the place for all the news and action between now and Rally Estonia.